from Denver 7, this is a special report. Good evening, I'm Andrew Trujillo with an update from Denver 7. It's going to take days, not hours, to restore power to all of the homes that lost electricity during today's blizzard. We checked about 20 minutes ago. There are more than 130,000 homes without power in our state tonight. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen found the power outages knocked out traffic lights on Wadsworth this evening. I want to show you the most dangerous thing that we have seen driving around today. Take a look at these street lights here, completely covered in snow. It's difficult to make out if they're red or if they're green. In fact, we have seen these people right here. They're actually running a red light. All those people that just drove through, they're running a red light and they may not even realize that they're doing it because you cannot see the street light. This is Wadsworth. This is a major street. When you hear police officers saying you need to stay home if you can, don't drive, this is exactly why. Because we have seen people running red lights. We have seen people stopping on green lights. So be careful if you're out and about driving. In Lakewood, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. And because of today's wind and snow, multiple school districts, including Littleton, Jefferson County, Dugco, and now Aurora, they're all closed for Thursday. For a full up-to-date list, you can visit our website at thedenverchannel.com. And Denver International Airport still dealing with canceled flights and frustrated travelers. Earlier today, all six runways were shut down due to the blizzard. And now, all lanes of Pena Boulevard are back open. That happened in just the last half hour. 50 vehicles had to be moved off Pena because of several crashes. We will have a full look at the impacts tonight on Denver 7 at 10. And now here's Mike Nelson with the latest on these weather conditions, Mike. It's getting better in the Denver area, especially downtown and the west side of the metro. Still some snow falling, but the roads are in fairly decent shape in the downtown area. Not so much out in the eastern plains. This is a live view Marviero camera that's out in Sterling, where a full-blown blizzard continues out that way. Look at the wind still very strong across much of the front range. We will expect those winds to remain strong tonight, but gradually lighten up as the storm system begins to push a little farther to the east, but we're still covered in warning statewide. The blizzard warning will continue tonight all across northeast Colorado. That's where the severe conditions are. In the Denver area, it's gradually going to improve from west to east as the heaviest bands of snow begin to move slowly away from the metro, but it's still going to be a very cold, slick night. We'll have all the details throughout the evening.